Hi, uh, Mr. V again, and we're look, continuing to look at Autodesk Revit. If you notice, you can see I've drawn more floor, flooring material. I used wood throughout this living area and the entryway, and then I'm going to put a kitchen somewhere in here, living room here. One thing when you're doing wood, uh, this room was a rectangle, so it was easy to draw. I just used floor and used the rectangle tool to draw it. When I drew it in this area here, <clears throat> where it's all one big area, I use the line tool. So if you notice that, you got to make sure all your lines connect. You can't have any overlapping, or it'll give you some issues. And I think you got to be careful with with wood. Make sure it's flowing the same way. Depend if you start drawing it better on the bottom, it may go left or right instead of up and down. So it may, I made sure both of mine were going up and down. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the ceiling height and also how to make a second level. Some of you have asked about making a two-story house, so I'm going to knock that out in this video as well. So to set your ceiling height, you go to View, 3D View. Okay, and when you do that, you click on a wall. The default for Autodesk Revit is 20 foot, 0 inches. Okay. That's the default. Um, here, eight, nine, ten foot ceilings are all the norm, pretty much. I'm going to make mine nine or ten, excuse me. The garage, I'm going to leave 20 feet because I want a, a car lift in there where I can lift it up in the air and work on vehicles. So I'm going to leave that. Sometimes you may have a 13 foot garage ceiling to get your doors and all that mounted, and then you have pull down storage from the attic. But I'm going to leave mine 20 feet. So you click on the wall. If you hold, can shift and hit the other walls. It'll let you do it sometimes. It can be really tricky. It's control, excuse me, instead of shift. But I like to do it a couple of times. Don't try and do them all. It just, it can be difficult. And, you know, you don't have to highlight this, delete it all. Just change 20 to 2 and 20 to 10. Hit apply. And you're going to see it's dropped that down. Okay, so hold control. Where I've got that little closet, that's going to be a tough because I've got a bunch of walls there. Okay, so I'm just going to do three at a time. Drop it down to 10 foot as well. Now those two stand out and it's easy for me to click on them. So I'm going to click them, hold control, hit that one, change it to 10 foot. And this is a little time consuming. Every once in a while, you may accidentally delete a wall. If that happens, just hit the undo button. I'd say keep it to two or three at a time. Don't try and highlight your whole house and change the walls once. It just we've had a lot of issues with that. <clears throat> Again, ten foot's the norm. And you can see this wall is acting up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to go back in my original drawings and probably change that or maybe put another one on top of it because if I drew this all as one if I drop it to 10 on that side of the garage it's not going to be 20 feet just to show you what that looks like okay that's okay I can go to a second level and change that which I'm going to show you how to do here in a second so if I zoom in you can see I've got 10 foot walls throughout the living area you can also see the concrete slab show up when you're in 3D view, I've got doors. My mud room I left open. I may change that at another point. You know, you can make changes throughout the whole time that you're working on this project. That's why we want to save them each time. But you can always go back and delete it and make changes and things like that. Okay, so let's talk about making a second level. So I'm on level one. Level two would be above level one, obviously, but my, since I've got two different heights here. So we're going to go to 3D views and go to east. And you can see my level one starts at the ground. My level two starts at 10 foot. And the reason it did that, I changed the ceiling height to 10 foot, zero inches. So that's going to work. To close this wall, I'm going to go to level two and draw another 10 foot wall. But I bet you it's going to draw it to be 20 feet 
Uh, you can add a new level. We do want a third level because we want the roof for the garage. So I'm going to do that. Let me see here. I go to architecture. Let's see. It's been a while. Give me just a second. Okay, you can see in the architecture tab, make sure you're on that. Here you've got this level symbol. If you click that, okay, I'm going to drag it out to here. It says level three is at 20 foot zero inches. That's where I want it because I want a 10 foot wall for my next one. So let's draw it out. That one where I had to, where it's missing and see if it makes it 10 foot or 20. Uh, you can do a face next to this as well. Some of you have asked about that. You can't, you just draw your level below level one. Let's see what that looks like. It says level four. Okay, and you can see it's changed that to a minus 15. Uh, one cool thing about Revit, you can change these names over here as well, which is probably a good habit to get into. So level one, I'm gonna name that. You just right click it, choose rename. I'm going to say uh, ground level, or first floor, excuse me. Level two, and then just hit yes there. Level two, let's name it uh, second floor. Yes. Level three, I'm going to name roof. That's where I'm on my roof eventually and then level four if you want to do a basement you can you could just rename it basement okay but i'm not going to have a basement and if you want to ever delete that you just right click and you can delete that level and it's gone So I click on it, hit delete. Shit, okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, but I don't need a basement on this house. Okay. So now I've got to make another wall to connect and close this garage in. So this time I'm going to go on second floor. And notice my garage walls are black because these ones are all 20 feet tall, which is the height of my level two. And then these ones show up in a gray. Okay, you can't draw on level one while you're on the second floor, or the first floor while you're on the second floor. But it is good because when you're making a house, you want everything to line up. You know, your second level, you want it to be above it because they're going to be sharing the same walls, and they're going to, you know, be load-bearing walls. Some of them will be. So I'm going to draw another wall and close this out to make my garage have a 20-foot throughout. And it can be tricky getting it lined up just right. That looks like you see that change to a basic wall. I don't like that. We're doing eight inch wall, I believe, generic eight inch. Yeah. So I want to keep that. And let's close that in. Let's go back to my 3D view, and I should have that wall. Should be the same height as all of these. View, 3D view, and it's, ah, it's went 20 feet, didn't it? Okay, so easy change there. Change it from 20 to 10. And now my garage has 20 foot walls around it, so I can fit a car lift in there or some pull down storage. And then my house has 10 foot walls. Now, with the concrete, go ahead and put you an entryway here. I'll probably make something where it ties into the driveway where you can walk and you don't have to walk through grass and get your feet dirty, things like that. Let's see if we can do that real quick. And I don't, the only thing I don't like is how the slab, you can't see it from the other ones. But that's okay. So I'm just going to make it simple here. Keep it inside those cameras. 
hit that green check to finalize it. I mean, it's gone, but if you go back to 3D view, it's there. And now I need to draw something to connect that. Let's see if it'll let me connect, draw it in 3D style. Not sure it will. It does, yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'll make a little entry right here. Ah, it's a green check. And I'll tidy that up to where it's all the same distance. So you can, you know, that's going to take a little bit of practice. Draw it all at once is probably your best plan. Draw it in 3D view. Let's see if I can move that a little bit. Get it to the edge. Okay. To me, that looks like it sits up higher. Let's look and see. No, it doesn't. It connects. I'll clean those up later. That just. <laughs> It doesn't look good. I'll probably delete it and go back and do it all as one tool. But that's one way to make a concrete walkway. So a lot of new things in this video. How to set your ceiling height, which is very important. How to add a second level. So if you wanted to add a second story to this house, you would click back on second floor. Go back to architecture and just start drawing your wall. So say I wanted a second level. I'm going to start it here. <laughs> And then I need to move that back. See, I don't line up exactly with it. So you can click on it and move it back. That's the tricky part, getting everything to line up perfectly. And you can pull stairs. Let me go ahead and do that as well. So let's look and see how that looks with the second floor. And again, it's 20 feet. I need to change it to 10. Let's go to the first floor and just look at stairs. I know somebody had done that in class, just practicing architecture. You got stairs. Now they do take up a lot of room, I'll tell you that. You got a spiral one. You got a half center end spiral. You got the L shape winder, U shape winder, and then just a straight. I'm going to do a straight just to show you how it looks. So, say I've got a stair here. Okay. To get to my 10 foot, it's got to be 15 foot 6 inches. Hit that green check. Let's look at it in 3D view. And there you go, there's your stairs. And that second level would hit right there if I put a floor in. Okay, so practice with that. It's going to take some trial and error. Don't get frustrated. Um, if you ever get stumped or need some help, pause it where you're at, call me over, and we'll uh, go through it one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks for checking in.